Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, so let's continue building our game. So in the last video, uh, we created two methods inside our chess player class. Uh, the decide move method, will, which will only be implemented by the artificial intelligence players, and the make move method, uh, which basically uh, moves a piece physically uh, on the board. So, um, in order for our artificial intelligence players to actually decide the move, uh, there are some requirements. So, for instance, uh, an artificial intelligence algorithm should be able to see his every option. So, the, uh, each move he can possibly make, and from those moves, uh, he'll choose the best one, uh, the one which he thinks uh, is the best one. So uh, we should now provide these artificial intelligence players uh, a method to get all the legal moves that he can make. Now uh, I'm going to start implementing that method. I'm going to call it. Like, uh, First of all, we should return a list of chess moves and the method name will be compute all legal moves. So, uh, in order for me to implement it actually, I need to uh, create a method in the piece class first, which will give me uh, the legal moves for a piece. Then I can combine or merge them to obtain a single list of legal moves. So say uh, I'm the white player and I have uh, eight pieces that I currently control uh, on the current state of the game. So for each piece I control for all eight of them, I'm going to co uh, compute the possible moves, the legal moves that I can make for each piece and co merge uh, those legal moves and return uh, the resulting lists. Uh, therefore, what I'm going to do is create an abstract method inside this piece base class, public uh, abstract list square uh, compute legal moves and I'm going to implement this abstract method in all of these uh, piece subclasses so as you see it's uh, complaining that I'm not I didn't yet implement this abstract method so I have to add this compute legal moves method in each class that extends this piece base class so uh, let me quickly uh, add this method in each of them to get uh, to get rid of those errors and I'm not going to implement this method in each subclass because it will take too long. Uh, I'm going to do that in the f next few uh, videos actually. Uh, but as you may have guessed, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, each piece type has different moving patterns. For example, rook moves horizontally and vertically. The queen can also move diagonally. And uh, the king can only move one square at a time, and so on. So inside each class, the implementation of this uh, compute legal moves method will differ. And you'll also see why we have created two classes, subclasses for the pawn, as opposed to the other Types. So 
I have one class for knight and one class for king, but I have two classes for pawn. Uh, when we implement this method for the pawns, you'll see why we need uh, two classes. Actually, we don't need two classes, but it will make our job easier. So, as I said, I'm going to implement those in the next few videos, but what I'm going to do is go back to our chess player class and implement this method here. So, uh, as I told you, I'm going to merge all the moves from all my pieces. So, what I have to do uh, initially is get my army. So, I have to see my allied pieces, the pieces I currently control. So I can do this by uh, getting the army reference from the board object. So uh, army, army is board get army uh, okay uh, and from here I can get Alive pieces. Actually, let's not call this army and let's call this uh, list piece alive pieces. So I can iterate over my pieces uh, to obtain and also let me define another list of chess moves the list that i'm going to return legal moves is new array list so in a for loop i'm going to uh, iterate over my alive pieces and then I'm going to convert the so uh, as you see my piece classes returns a list of squares that this piece can move to because of that in my uh, chess player class in this method I have to convert the squares to chess moves so uh, chess move is new chess move so as you remember and i'll show you if you don't remember it uh, in this constructor of this class it takes the initial square the target square and the target piece parameters uh, here i'm going to pass first the uh, square of my piece p get square and the next one is the target square so this is p dot uh, so actually i'm going to need another for loop uh, for the squares p dot get uh, compute legal moves So now I have my square. So this is the uh, this is actually the target square. So uh, obviously this will iterate over the legal moves. So this means the squares that this piece can go to, and that means this s variables in each iteration is my target square. And also I can get s get piece to obtain the target piece. This can be null, of course. So it says there are no get square methods for the type piece. So let's create it then. 
Where are we going to need it? Return square. So now I can get uh, the square reference from the piece object. Go back to our chess player class. This is not move, not move. I made the same mistake here. Okay. So um, I have the move. I converted the square to move. And now I can add this move to my legal moves list. So legal moves add move. That's it. Now I have to return this legal moves list. So what we just did in this video is we got our ally pieces first. So uh, we're try trying to get the possible moves, the all legal moves that the player can make in a specific turn. <coughs> so uh, I got firstly the ally pieces, the pieces that I con currently control, and I created a blank list of chess moves. And for each piece I control, I computed the legal move, the legal moves that that piece can make. Then it returns a square for each move. Then I uh, converted the square to a chess move. So I get, firstly, I give the uh, initial square that this piece resides on and the target square and the piece uh, on that target square if there's any and I basically add that chess move to my uh, blank list that I just created so the only thing we have to do now is implement these compute legal moves methods inside our chess piece types we're going to do that in our uh, upcoming videos. So see you then. Take care.